guys welcome back for another video so there will be a little bit more frequency with these right now as we try to get caught back up but check that out little sneak peek if you follow us on instagram or even facebook you've probably already seen that but that is very exciting so i just stare at it when i see it anyways this video will be all about the front cap and getting it tilting getting it fitting the actual mechanism that went into that. So this is another video that happened while I was gone, uh, something else that dad got done while I was in Tucson. So stay tuned, check it out. Um, that's, a, that's a big deal. What I'm thinking, you know, we've got the option of sliding it forward and lifting it off like a typical race car is. The mm -hmm. problem with that is it takes two people every time. Right. In worst case, what I'm going to do, worst case scenario, I can get it off or open by myself or you could, mm -hmm. but you'd have to, me, probably nothing actually. It'd probably be fine. It'd be a one person deal. But what I'm going to do is make that tube. I got this bent. This is going to be the brace from side to side that will go in here and the bolt in that way and I'll have tubes come in here so that this will completely hold the bumper but it's going to go back and glass on the front end underneath this pan so it'll be sticking out the side kind of like this okay that will glass to the pan and then off of this on top of the frame rails I'm going to make the pivots so this will pivot you know it'll pivot, pivot like that. this yeah. so I think the better deal to do is cut the fender here, put the header out the side, leave this part on the car, put Zeus's here and here, maybe just one. You know, you think about it, it may not even need, we've got stock cowl in the car right here. It's not cut out like so many of them do. Right. So I can put a wedge, kind of a wedge block, like make a Teflon block or something, just to hold this, just to keep it from shaking and it'll line it up. Right probably a Zeus button here. If I can get by with just one, we'll just pop one button. And then the front end will just tip. The bumper will roll back under the car. It's playing high off the ground right now. When I put a spoiler on the bottom of it, I don't know. We'll just have to see how that works. So then you said you're gonna glass reinforcement in here, cut here. Yeah, I'm gonna make this. This will be pretty, both pieces will be pretty rigid. It'll have a steel tube in here and a steel tube here, just a half inch piece of lightweight tubing and a piece down here it'll all weld together and it's cut in the middle probably have a flange on the back side so that lines up but pop one zeus on each side you know you could you could probably or i could grab this and tip it the front end might twist a little bit but there's nothing for it to hang on right. if we leave it full length it'll you got to pull it out from the body and then yeah. it takes two people to do that yeah that's better so I think we can... And then know, it's going to be where it can come. If we wanted to pull it off, we could... My idea is to, to uh, make it where it tips and pivots, but you can, once it's tilted up, we can just slide it forward slide an inch or two and pick it up and carry it off. I think that's a better deal.
Okay, so here's the front tilt mechanism. I just welded it up, getting ready to put it back on the front end and then glass it. It'll have fiberglass around this tube and around the middle tube to hold it to the front cap. But I thought I'd show you. This is kind of how it works. So sitting like there would be when it was uh, closed and I've got stops that I welded on here you can see what that does is when it's all the way open it sets against the frame and so it's pretty cool it's very solid and when you tilt it when you try to get this camera better positioned when you tilt it you go like this and lift the front end off so getting ready to put it back on the front end The front hinge, take a look at it, it's got a couple functions to perform. It's got to hinge and pivot, and I'll show you how that works. See it pivots there. It's got to hold the bumper, because our bumper is not bolted on or molded into the front end. It's actually like a real bumper you saw us make those. And it also lifts off. So it's got bolts here for the bumper, just stock location. Bolts here almost in the stock location. The stock ones were over here, but my frame rails are narrower, so I didn't want to make long brackets or anything goofy looking. And then I built this, which is one inch tube that's welded here and glassed to the front end. So it's glassed all the way across. And I put stops down in here. It'll actually hit the front of the frame horns or the frame rails when it's open so right now the bumper's hitting on this temporary support but that will be cut you know of course it won't be on there on the road but it'll be cut out of here pretty soon but that's where the front end will stop and it's pretty nice it stops and works pretty easy the bumper you can see it's got a nice gap all the way around it the bolts are they're just button head allen bolts and i really don't care right now the we'll probably polish these and use them i might weld the holes up and polish them make them look like stock they're just 3 8 stock ones were 7 16 and i don't know if i want to drill them or not and you know ease of opening is just like you know it's just basically effortless so one person can do it pop the four zeus buttons and just pull it open you can do it from the side you know, it just falls right into place that's my goal I wanted it to just fall into place I don't like stuff that you got to twist and pull out but you know you'll be able to open it from the side or the front and then when it's up you know typically it'll be two people usually but you know I don't want to do it after it's we're at the track and the car is lowered down this is how far off of the ground it'll be three inches or so off of the ground when it's open like this but you know i'll just do one side here you can just pick it up like that take it off so those brackets are not welded to the frame good yet but that's just a a piece of, of three quarter inch chrome molly with a 5 8 washer welded on it onto this bracket and it makes you know it makes it easy to find to locate it back on there it, when it's down like this and it's locked it can't come up because the way my notch is facing forward and then it goes down so 
when it's actually the front end is closed, the notch is holding the front end in place. So what I've been working on lately is the tilt front end. And as tough as that was, it actually took a lot more time than I thought. The, it was easy to get it tilting the very first day, but then I had to go back and glass everything and finalize, weld, make some more braces on it. So it's taken a couple days. Uh, I think I worked on it all weekend and 
I've not been on it all week. I've had other things to do, but it took a little bit longer. But I cut the bottom of the fenders off so it would tilt easy, and it does tilt easy. It's a one-person job. I've been lifting it on and off by myself, but that's because these are off. When these are on, as you tilt the front end, they go back into the doors. So you got to pull them out at the bottom like a traditional tilt front end, and it's usually a two-person job. So I cut them off like most people do on these things, and I'm getting ready to attach them to the body. And that, that's a little bigger job than it sounds like. So this is what I've come up with. Uh, we'll go over here to the, this is a nice carbon fiber piece that Debbie and Alex laid up. Nice and thin, super lightweight, super strong. What I'm gonna do is I've gotta attach this spaced out right here and give it some reinforcing and also a place to Zeus fasten the front end when it's down. I wanna make this as easy as possible. We'll have a couple Zeus buttons right here. But what I've come up with, and I probably overdid it or made it more complicated than it had to be, so I made this piece of aluminum, one for each side. It's like 14 gauge, two inch, drilled full of holes, couple studs on here. These are where the Zeus's will go. So what's gonna happen is this is gonna glass or I'm gonna mix up a putty, a concoction that I use that I made myself. And it's gonna glass on here. I'll squeeze that down with some clamps. The putty will squeeze through these holes. I'll wipe it so these will be like countersunk holes which will be really hold this piece to the, to the carbon fiber good. Then there'll be Zeus springs back here and these two studded bungs will go, they'll drill and bolt to this panel. I made them, they're down here actually. I made them a little bit on the shy side so, cause I didn't know the exact measurements and you know, I don't want this to be in or out. So I'd rather be able to adjust it. I'll put washers behind it. it looks like I may not have to under the back one. The front one I knew was a little bit uh, thicker but I didn't make the, the mount thicker. That way I can actually bolt it up and pull the fender in or put a washer, you know, I can adjust it in and out. That will be what holds the front end down. I'll come in here and weld a bracket off of the rocker panel and bolt the bottom through the bottom so it won't be in the way. What I, my goal is, is I wanna be able to take these off and get right here to the turbos and I don't want to have to have brackets sticking out here so I can come in and unbolt the bolts from behind and just remove this piece. But you can see it'll be, you know, it'll go behind like that. And the Zeus holes will be right there. So hopefully two, two Zeus's will do it. If I have to, I can come in and put a third one in here. I don't want it bubbling out or anything. So that's where I'm at here. We'll see how strong that is. If it's not strong enough, I'm gonna come in from this stud down through here with a gusset. And I'll be, it'll be plenty strong if I do that. carbon fiber drive shaft came in. I might run up there and get that and show you the carbon fiber drive shaft because it's a nice piece. So this is something we're really proud of. Alex or I have never had one of these and for her driving a car of this level I want everything as safe as I can. 
One of the big fears is always a drive shaft. If it lets go, well, I've never had a drive shaft come out, but I know they do, and they create carnage. And then you got that thing flopping around in there. You know, so what happens with these carbon fiber ones that, so I've seen in videos and been told, is they pretty much turn to dust. If something breaks, they just kind of explode. And there's, this, you know, they're a lot safer. So QA1 made us this incredible piece. It's just beautiful. You know, messing with carbon fiber myself, I don't even understand how they did it. The pattern is just fantastic, but it's spiral wound, it looks like. And I see this little bitty hole. There's, there's a few of those, like up here. I'm assuming that's balance. I think they probably drill that and then fill it back in with a little putty. But look at the, the forged, it's obviously a forged end. You can see the forged and then machined. And then they put a Sonax billet yoke on it, fully splined. So it's splined all the way to the end. That thing's gonna have engagement all the way back to here. We're setting it up with 5 eighths of an inch of, of slop from, it bottoms out and pulls back 5 eighths of an inch. That's what Rick from Gear Vendors, Rick Johnson wanted. And the things are SFI certified. So this thing, this is, you know, Bailey runs one in his five second car. They're just incredibly strong. As long as you don't scratch them or gouge them, you gotta be a little bit delicate with them. You can't just beat it. But as, if you get a bad spot in it, that's a weak spot. So you treat it with kid gloves, but it's a, you know, as strong as can be. I can't even imagine how glue can support the kind of horsepower that they do, but it does. So the four links are all welded up, the wishbone's welded, the rear end is done. I mean, other than the welding the chassis, but all the other stuff is finished. Wheelie bars are done, parachute mounts finished. So everything's just about ready to take apart. Dust is sticking to it because we're actually wiping it, kept keeping it wiped down with WD-40 to keep it from rusting. Here in Arkansas, it's starting to get humid, so it's gonna rust if I don't get it welded pretty soon. Next week, I hope to take the body off this thing and be welding for a few days. So that's pretty much it. That's what I've been doing, and not a lot of progress that you can actually see, but it's very time consuming. So how is it she says it? Until next time, stay young, be, be fast, and be safe, and be extra pretty, and we'll see you next time. You leave for a couple weeks and you even get booted out of your own closer. <laughs> it's part of it, I guess. Anyways, they tried. That's what counts. So that wraps up this video. We had a lot happen in those two weeks. I cannot wait to share the progress. Like I said, we're going to be doing videos frequently, at least two a week for the next week or two, just to catch up from what happened in those couple weeks that I was gone. So anyways, that's it for now. Thank you guys so much for watching. And this time... Be happy, go fast, and stay pretty. I will see you guys in a couple days.